Rated T for Teen. Beginning of the project, we had this core idea of adapting Journey to the West and, and giving it our own visual style. We've tried to really give it something different, a different twist. When we decided that this would be based 150 years in the future in a post-apocalyptic world, we, we were very well aware that it's a, it's a trope, it's a, it, it can be a cliché. We actually saw a programme uh, called Life After People and they showed what would happen to these major cities in the future when, when people are gone. Within a few hundred years, the world is basically becomes unrecognisable. So we decided, let's start in New York, and make it a journey actually across the US. We didn't want to be depressing about it, like a lot of post-apocalyptic movies are depressing and games. We wanted to kind of um, make a fantasy that was like Miyazaki movies where everything's different and everything's colourful and it's just a window into a totally different fantasy world. We thought New York would be a good place to ground it. If nature is reclaiming then you need, to, you need something to be almost aware of. Our style in terms of art is also very colourful so we always want to, we always want to put colour into all our games and we want to add post-processing effects that you would normally see in movies to kind of make the image just feel alive. We could um, push the colors a lot because robots got rust, which can be orange, can be red. Skyscraper that's kind of got ivy completely all over it or with a bed of poppies that are giving, giving off all these shafts of red light. You can see evacuation notices in New York, you can see chemical warfare, biohazard symbols. Very often you see something that looks like a tree but actually it's not a tree because it's, it's a, maybe a piece of robot. The idea of monkeys came, is come from uh, the legend of, of monkey, the journey to the west, you know, the, the book. The original one has got a specific mask paint. I try to, to keep that. Some people won't be aware of some of the subtleties that we've got in, but there's, there's obviously the staff and Monkey's Cloud. So the cloud is actually kind of, is part of Monkey's character. Even if you look back at hundreds of year old images of him, he's on his cloud with his staff, with his headband. This character is still really big, but uh, more an anim animal. You can see in the animation, especially when you jump one building to another, it really look like kind of Tarzan, like in the jungle, you know, like really like a monkey. The other character is Trip. Little by little, she's this her personality, fragile, you know, personality come, come out, and you feel more attached to her. The third uh, main character in the game is. Uh, Pigsy. He's got tattoo, like pin-up tattoos everywhere. He's got girls thinking about girls all the time. Trip, is that you? Oh, <gasps> Pigsy! You don't have to have any interest in the book or, or the TV series or anything to appreciate the game. It's just a good story with good characters and, and a rich world. 